Recently, I've been trying to get in better shape by hitting the gym and making better food decisions and all those things that make a person generally healthier. But the most important thing is staying hydrated. Hydration is one of, if not the most important things to living a healthier and better life. And Liquid IV is your best ticket to achieving that goal. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks, which is pretty significant. I really enjoy Liquid IV because it's easy to take. It's easy to take with you, which makes it super convenient, whether it's after the gym or if I need to pick me up uh, in the morning after a night out or just a boost of hydration while I'm at work. Staying hydrated is so much easier for me because of Liquid IV, and I think it can do the exact same thing for you. Also, if you're worried about the flavors, don't be. They've got strawberry lemonade and lemon lime, which are some of my favorites, and they are very good, but they got plenty of other flavors, so you'll find something you like for sure. So if you want to start getting and staying more hydrated, you should try some Liquid IV. Get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code BADMOVIE at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code BADMOVIE at liquidiv.com. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you some breaking news. There's been reports all over the area of something crazy going on, something big. People's homes, their minds even, are being taken over by something called, what is it they're calling it? They're calling it Bad Movie Debate. Ding, 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 Merry Christmas. Okay, see? That's why I told you to put the microphone closer to your face because you're whispering. Merry Christmas. See, don't do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> see, that's too loud. Um, it's fine. I hope it doesn't sound too creepy. It'll be fine. Um, what up, nerds? Christmas nerds. Um, we're back. Bad movie debate. Blah, 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 blah. We all know that. Um, yeah, we're going to do a Christmas episode with Antine. Hi. Merry Christmas. Austin's here, too. Woo. Thank you, Austin. Mm -hmm. uh, Austin will be contributing her thoughts, but she is not officially a part of the debate. She didn't just take to any notes, here. just here for the vibes. She's just here for the vibes. She and is allowed to chatter. woo. She's allowed to woo. She's a woo girl. And she's about allowed to give her honest thoughts about our opinions. Let's do it. But it doesn't matter what you say. At the yeah, end my opinion day. is invalid. It doesn't it matter. Is. Um, so we're doing the most wonderful time of the year, right? That's the name mm -hmm. of it. A classic, a, a classic. Oh, a classic. <laughs> it is a little classic. There is a little bit of classic actually. In it, actually, yeah, but it which is, is a, a Christmas classic. Christmas, an absolute staple. classic. Um, not as much as the song "Most Wonderful Time of the Year," which they play twice, the beginning and the end, which. Shocker. Oh of my course god. Did. That's the name of the movie. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It was, they did it twice, which is fine, but it's a Hallmark movie. It's a Hallmark made for TV Christmas movie. So normally we go over like our top five genre specific, but I have never seen a Hallmark movie before today, so I don't have any. Antine, do you have any other ones that you are particularly fond of in the Hallmark Christmas movie? too well, many but as we just established i have no idea who made which bad movie so <laughs> fair enough fair enough austin do you have any hallmark christmas movies no not specifically uh we watched one about scotland the oh, other god. day and that i was think a... it was an amazon prime one. <laughs> oh god but same christmas bane, in scotland same, same bane and style though you said that one was worse than this one. Oh, we filled oh, up yeah. the whole card yeah, the quality the, was yeah, the terrible bingo cards Auntie, and describe these bingo cards we have in front of us that we're going to use as we talk about well this as, movie. A, as a rubric for grading bad mm. christmas movies uh yep. this game that nick's step siblings gave us is pretty good because it's, it's a bad uh christmas movie bingo basically all of us have like a bunch of different tropes that we're checking off as we go so for example on mine i've got like horse-drawn carriage flirty <laughs> baking oh, oh look, look a, a small, small town, town. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, oh yeah <laughs> love Classics, triangle right and oh, so yeah. it, really when you're watching a movie mm -hmm. if you can check off a ton of these you can guarantee it's a truly bad hallmark yeah. christmas movie and i'm gonna be honest uh, none of us got bingo watching this movie. Yeah, I didn't either, which is sh was 
pretty shocking to me, uh, to be honest. I think my favorite one on my card is uh, Woman with Great Career is Sad Inside. Mm. <laughs> uh, truly my, classic my trope. My favorite trope on my thing. I also did very much enjoy um, everyone everyone listen to my impassioned speech <laughs> oh, oh that a that's good a good one. one there's two of them in this one because i marked it off one. and was uh-huh. like but then i was like oh no there's one at the end and we'll get into that conversation about the one at the end hmm. uh, my favorite is a, a weirdly timed cleavage so if, if oh yeah she mentioned that, that, that one i didn't one. have that in my car but it, that didn't happen in this movie yeah, yeah sadly which was kind of shocking again too good good of a movie because one of my favorite things about this movie is that the main actress was hot <laughs> She is like, she gorgeous. Was hot as hell. She is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, she's awesome. I was like, holy shit, she's super hot. Um, so Even though great. her name was not Faith, Elizabeth, or Joy. <laughs> I know. It was as Jennifer. on my card. Less for <laughs> Jen. Yeah. So that makes it a little less. Um, so we are going to go over the one score for uh, this uh, Rotten Tomatoes. We're going to go over the Rotten Tomatoes. So the audience gave it a 67%. Audience loves it. Sort of. The critics, not applicable because there are no critic <laughs> yeah, scores. Who, who's critiquing Hallmark for TV movies? Movie. And I That's just literally that was, us. We are the I critics, thought was, I thought that was so fucking funny. I was like, what's this? And I like, when you Google it, it says like Rotten Tomatoes 67. And I was like, no fucking way. And I clicked on it and I was like, oh, it's just the audience because no critics <laughs> so wasted critics their give time it zero. watching. They give it a. They give it a unimportant not even worth giving it <laughs> oh a good God. or a bad grade like that's negative what, 10 more or less that's what it says which and irrelevant that's fair yeah let's see where Burn. let's see if i can find this which one mm, i'm trying to find that way quote. to be prepared Wait, so what you're good job telling... jacob i don't have time you're we tell- went to the North Pole today, Austin. I didn't have time. <laughs> we met Santa. You had an adventure. <laughs> Jake, yeah. you're telling me you couldn't find That's any bad much. reviews for this movie is what I'm hearing. I As soon as I saw that there wasn't any critic scores for it, I was like, <laughs> fuck Let's it. I was like, it. I don't even need to look You'd be like, anymore, oh yeah, it's, so fucking it's a great funny. movie. That's why. No, that, no, I'll, uh, I'll get back with everyone. I'll interrupt you in a second and I'll find a few. All right, fine. You can do that. Cool. Um, that's fine. Uh, I, I will do the classic, though. Um I'm saying it's bad, you're saying it's good, so I'll say something I love about the movie, and then you say something you don't like about the movie. Or you go first. Deal. What's something you didn't like since you're saying it's good? I'm gonna have to think on that, because again, I love this movie, so you go first. Okay, mine's very, should be pretty obvious. Uh, fucking Henry Winkler, dude. He's amazing. Oh, he's, he's freaking excellent. Fucking amazing. I love him. I love his character. Fonzie. He never fucking misses when he acts, no matter what he's doing, even a shit movie like this. He was on point. He was hilarious. Oh, yeah. His, Ralph, his character, was amazing. Just beating the shit out of dudes left and right. You love out him. Out of nowhere. You can't help like, but love him. Yeah, it's just everything he does, you're just like, yeah. All I'm wa- so happy he's here right All now. All he wants to do is, like, have spoil you, his nephew. Have you? Oh, my God, yeah. He's great. He's, like, got check, 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 going through his, the list. He's got on that robot and shit. Yeah. Which that robot looked dope as fuck. Yeah, I think I had that growing cool. up. I wanted, dun, dun, dun. I wanted one, but it was... It, it would I would have broken it immediately, so it was probably a good idea. I didn't get it. Um, have you seen you've seen Arrested Development, right? Oh yeah, Classic. yeah. So like him as their lawyer, and he's oh and my he's god, such a yes. terrible lawyer. <laughs> and in that one episode that. where they're down by the docks, and he there's like a dead baby shark because uh, of some context of whatever the scene is, and he jumps over it as he makes his exit out of the scene. A jumping the shark. It's oh amazing. God, it's like I oh my god. That. It's, That's it's hilarious. So perfect. He's amazing. He was like yeah. He's like. He's like, yeah, we, like, the phrase jumping the shark. Oh, like, my He God. was directly involved with that becoming, like, a phrase throughout all of uh, pop culture. That's amazing. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to make fun of myself and do it. So like, guess, how, guess how I learned that phrase that's not from either of those uh, TV shows. That 70s show. Nope. Oh, really? Because they did nope. a whole bit nope. on that 70s None show. Of the above. They recreated it. Okay, uh, I don't know. Supernatural. Oh, my God. <laughs> Another excellent series. I've refuse to watch it i've seen a few episodes back in the day like caught a few and i was like i don't like this it's very it's very much the like so it's like the fiction version of like the like ghost hunting like ghost bros they're like yeah they're like 
come out and face me. Come yeah. out and like, speak Fight to us. Like, they're screaming at the ghosts and stuff instead of doing like actual paranormal research because that's like not so you how want a, you would do it. You want a more authentic paranormal I want experience more, yeah, and less, all, less action-y. Exactly. I want more mm. like, I want it to be creepier, not like, oh, here's our Bloody Mary episode. I want like the X-Files. X-Files has Monster of the Week episodes, but like it's fucking intense and like there's an overarching fair. narrative that's like so good supernatural tried to do that same thing by having a bunch of fucking seasons and yep. into a bunch of different things just like the x files did but i think supernatural was too bro pretty boy and it well it was it was definitely you know? geared toward teenage women i mean yeah that's it, def- fair. it definitely is but i know a lot of but, dudes who who right, like the show right. and stuff because they can appreciate that and i'm like yeah but like it just doesn't it just doesn't hit the same way the X Files does, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, f- totally fair. That's totally wild fair. that that came up though. Mm-hmm. That the jumping mm-hmm. the shark came up in that, but it makes sense with a show that long. It's gonna come up. Oh you yeah, know what I mean? agree. Uh, like the but Wilhelm scream. <laughs> you are totally right that the Henry Winkler best He's best the, actor in this best movie, thing. best character, like he excellent. He Watch everyone <laughs> everyone was elevated by his performance. Yeah, exactly. I will sure. chime in and say that the audience scores and reviews reflect the same thing. They all love him. Not many other actors are mentioned in in <laughs> any of the comments. They're like, uh, yeah, <laughs> they couldn't afford any other. Exactly, brand, he, brand like, name when actors. you look at the cover, it's like the main, like the main girl, and then the main dude that she inevitably falls in love with and stuff. It's like them two, and they're like back here, and then Henry Winkler <laughs> is like in the front. They're like you. They use him in the poster to like, and like one of the posters to like advertise this movie. But and he's not the main character. But <laughs> like, arguably, it's arguably, the acting of the male and female Morgan and Jennifer not yes. that bad. The no, child. I specifically terrible. said. I specifically said that the Morgan uh, actor. Um, I was like, he's he's better than I thought, just from like. The way he was dressed and like it was like it's two thousand eight and like yep. the way he okay. he was dressed and like his character like he's a you know like a wandering hippie and stuff I was like oh god this is gonna be terrible he mm-hmm. was not bad Jane was wasn't. fine but he was he was pretty good Austin let me interrupt <laughs> um, this conversation with Raise your our hand. <laughs> please pick me, pick me, let me go put yes, me in Austin. coach um, I have two reviews for you one five stars one a half star oh yeah (laughs) five star rating is from samantha 71 Mm. she says i loved this movie i never get tired of seeing it everyone in the cast is great harry winkler is so natural and believable as uncle rath henry does say harry you said harry did she write harry no i just can't read oh okay (laughs) nice (laughs) <laughs> I just wanted to make sure like she wrote it down right. <laughs> I would love to see a sequel. Maybe Jen and Morgan get married. Maybe Uncle uh, Ralph founds a new finds a new lady to fill the void of losing his wife and moves nearby so he can be near his niece and her son Morgan. Question mark. Okay, so that completely destroys all of the groundwork of Ralph's character by him getting <laughs> married to some other bitch in the second one. If that happens, his whole character and like his whole like passion for life and like the love for his wife is just she was irrelevant. very passionate wait a second wait it. a second you're saying he can't get married after his wife dies nah dude uh, ever with how with how intensely he loves his wife and like the big deal of like the earrings like giving the earrings to his niece finally and stuff yeah, but and, they, like, they, that they... was like the most tender moment of the entire thing because of fucking henry Winkler, i think they course. mentioned her two times in the whole movie uh no they mention her constantly at the very beginning with the kid who can't stop looking into the fucking camera and that kid's a fucking <laughs> terrible actor we're gonna talk more about him speaking of thoughts. terrible acting let's go to the second review oh yeah How what's this half star review? <clears throat> i'm sorry we'll half star review off. is from mp nothing else won't reveal too much cool. um <laughs> this was such a stupid movie mm-hmm. exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point Save your time. She ends up with the stranger who cuts her down and criticizes everything she does. True. Paren- also true. <laughs> parentheses. True. Of course, he's so handsome and does it jokingly, so that somehow makes it okay. In parentheses. The handsome yes. boy tells her how to cook a turkey, yes. teaches her to make breakfast, bake cookies, decorates the house, and told her that her artificial treat wasn't good enough, etc., etc., etc. So, of course, naturally, she falls in love with him. Yeah. So, MP has been hurt. <laughs> In the past, <laughs> MP <laughs> saw that. right through this. Actually, it, it, I would say MP's been hurt and uh, and can't uh, believe in a thing called love. Unfortunately, but 
I'm definitely seeing this movie in a new light now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, they, I don't know, uh, they are not wrong, you know. Yeah. Anyway, two opposite but ends I of think the spectrum. They've been, but I think they've been hurt. Your debate. I think MP has been hurt in the past, <laughs> is all I'm going to say about that. Um, Agreed, though, that that's probably a good negative for this movie, on my end, is that they really do beat her over the head with you're doing everything wrong and i'm like bitch you own a house you are raising this child you are an executive with a great body a great head of hair she works in advertising slash publishing or pr she's a corporate analysis like analyst which is basically the same and it gave you an almost bingo on your card it almost Mm -hmm. did i still didn't get it but like that got me that helped me get close because i would say she counts as an executive exactly i took that advertising publishing pr like I took that. Yeah, on my, on I will say totally fair. she does call him out on it when they're having their what was it uh, surprise uh, out of nowhere argument. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> From the card. Yeah, argument that comes out of nowhere. Argument that yeah. comes out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another classic Check in that box. But mm-hmm. she calls him out and she says, "You barely even know me. Why are you trying to tell me how to live my life? Like yeah. fuck off." Yes, and <laughs> she has a really great point. But and he's, he's trying like, to teach her oh, about yeah. the Christmas spirit. He's like, "Oh yeah, I'm sorry." <laughs> Yeah, but she sucks at Christmas, dude. She's sending all these cards. He's like, who's this guy? And she's like, I don't know. It's a work thing. Who's this guy? I don't know. It's a work thing. And she was literally throwing away shit, her fucking cards from those people in the trash. Yeah, but so maybe... So he's, like, he's like, that's not what Christmas is about, bro. But it's not maybe, business, bro. Maybe that work thing helps her make the money that buys the rocket wheel. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but also if she wasn't so busy with her advertising, publishing, or PR job, mm-hmm. she would be... She would know... That, that was going to be impossible to find. What she say? She's like, well, what? if I analyzed bike companies, I would have been all over it. It's like, well, I thought you loved your kid after your divorce. Also, how come you know I mean? the ex-husband never shows up in this movie? I was kind of surprised, pleasantly irrelevant. surprised about that, actually. Because yeah. they well, didn't fucking, need to introduce him as a character. No, they didn't need him because you were too busy having fucking Richard over here. And I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, I, made this, I made this huh? joke a bunch while we were watching it today. There's a reason why this guy's name is Richard, because Richard can also be dick. Fuck that guy. He's <laughs> that guy definitely a, a dick. Fucking dick. Shiny dude. shoes, jewelry, sales. dollars shoes. <laughs> oh yeah. Classic bad guy. Classic, Classic bad, guy. bad guy. He looks like a bad guy. Well, also another typical evil. uh Christmas movie Hallmark type, but all three movies we watched yeah. last night, it was like, Oh yeah, he's gonna be the bad guy. And if he's then you wearing saw a the suit, handsome guy, it's like guy. that's who she's yeah. gonna end up with. Yeah, mm-hmm. always ends up with the more down to earth mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Uh, oh, bad person. boy. Yeah. And that was what we were joking about. So Henry Winkler, who's supposed to be her uncle, is like, Oh, he's secure and stable he sounds like a table how boring (laughs) and it's like okay so you're telling me uncle doesn't want his niece to end up with someone who's stable and great he was just lame no take this guy that uncle Uncle is cool but when we first get introduced when we first get introduced to dick he's like because they're like oh like your mom isn't coming like oh my parents were excited to meet her and stuff he's like She's like, well, my Uncle Ralph will be there. And he's like, oh, he's like pretty rough around the edges. He used to clean guns in the living room when you would bring dates home when you were growing up and stuff like and everything. But now he's like, apparently. So that's kind of weird to me, you know, because it's like he used to be super overprotective to be with her with a good guy. Now he's like, oh, yeah, fuck this stable guy. Get with this fucking stranger I met on an airplane. That's so true. Not even on the airplane. On the fucking floor of the the airport. In the airport. (laughs) Like. And then just like fell in love with. Which... Brings me to one of my favorite lines. Not favorite, but it just popped in my head. When the neighbor's like, who is that guy? She's like, oh, my uncle found him on the floor of an airport. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, can I take He's a like, second I to talk about the fucking bitch neighbor? I, oh my I God, classic. I wanted to fucking kill her. I have it written in my notes somewhere where like, I'm going to kill the neighbor. So the part, the part like, where she... He puts the red, oh, the red light candle. into the yeah. Christmas lights, yeah. into the white Christmas lights to annoy the neighbor. I tried to do that this year. And oh, I really, yeah. I really want to do that. I want to put uh, one um, red bulb in my white red lights. Bulb because it's the red candle tradition. The red Portuguese, Portuguese yeah. tradition. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I did so, also really like the uh, constant bit of the reef falling off. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought that was funny. Mm, I actually, I find that part kind of. Nick. I liked it because they continued the bit. It happened every single time 
and they, stuff. And like, I appreciate that. It. So is this the uh, positive from your end? Jacob? No, my, if you were paying attention, my positive is Henry Henry Winkler all okay. day. I did like yeah. the bit. Agreed. I did like the bit with the wreath though, because they committed to it. They didn't just do it once and then be like, "What a stupid joke! She's so bad at this and stuff." Like it just kept happening, and she kept always being like, "It just needs a bigger hook." Like you know, like I appreciated that, but no, Henry Winkler all day. Wait, what's he one was thing? The best what's, part. what's the thing you don't like? If you come if up, if you were listening, yet? Jacob, she already said the it. feminism. The, Wait, the or the misogyny <laughs> rather. I was like, you hate the feminism. <laughs> the, the misogyny. <laughs> that was one of the, the bingo misogyny, cards. Yes. Uh, anti. Yeah, I've got it on mine. Is anti-feminism is on my my yeah, bingo definitely. card. Oh, yeah, no, I mean that was for sure. Yeah, you know, I was surprised there wasn't a snow globe in this movie. I expected one to come up at some point with the kid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was like, there's a kid. There's going to be a snow globe. Right? So you've got to admit that this this Morgan character is adorable in the way that he acts with the kid. Yeah, he's good with the kid. Yeah. 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 And then the other guy, Dick, is like, here's a $500 gift card. Buy your own presents. I'm too busy (laughs) fucking your mom. That that kid would appreciate that so much in life. I mean, he goes up and almost kills himself because he, uh, he, like, uh, Morgan almost dies being on the roof trying to, like, emulate the sounds of Santa being Mm -hmm. on the roof on Christmas Eve and stuff. Like, that's nice. Um, so like that's good, you know. So like obviously, I think we're all in agreement that she needs to end up with Morgan. Like oh for good. sure. But mm-hmm. like the problem is, here's one thing. Wait, wait, and that the three. I think we've also agreed that the three lead actors did a good job acting. Relatively good job. Are you looking at me? Yeah. How, How do you, you feel? Yeah. See, Austin also thinks they comments. did a good job. Thank you. They no. were they were good enough for what they Henry, needed to do. Henry Winkler did exactly what he needed to do and went above and beyond, mm-hmm. as he always does, as already established. Morgan was good, better than I expected, but like not anything crazy. And Jen has one of the worst moments I've ever seen when... They're going back from the airport after he forgets his passport Mm -hmm. and they're in the car and she's driving and she's like, I have so much to do today and stuff. And then she's like, oh no, Brian's bike. I have to be there by noon is fucking terrible. It's almost up to the point of like troll two, where like, uh, you guys probably heard this before, at least the troll two, like the horror movie. So there's a horror movie called Troll 2 mm-hmm. that there is no Troll 1. They were just making a sequel to a non-existent movie because mm-hmm. trolls were a thing trying to trick people into watching it. It's one of mm-hmm. the worst movies ever. Okay. And the guy goes, he's eating there and then they're going to eat me. Oh my God. Like that's mm-hmm. like blank face. Like that. It was that level where she was like, Ooh. yep. So <laughs> flat, no emotion. Apparently she forgot her line and they just went with that take. Because Hallmark movies are shot in like two weeks. <laughs> they shoot Dude, them in like two weeks. The budget like, on these is so low. It's, it's so amazing. Low. And they're like, we do not have time to reshoot. So you say it, we get it, we're done. And like, it was like, you should have taken the time to redo that. So I'm going to say two of the three leads were pretty good. Okay, so that averages out terrible, pretty well. But the main character was bad. She's the main character. Don't forget about the little boy. He no, he's, he's for, for all I hope for he real. never acts again. He's, he he's was fucking <laughs> terrible. He I, looks into the camera in the first scene he's in, and I'll go ahead and talk, get into it. The turkey. He's looking at that fucking turkey, and he's licking his lips. <laughs> oh, that is yeah, that is the not weirdest. A fucking That's creepy vibe, as hell. Dude. Can it's you find scary. out if he grew up to be another? Like, oh, did he yeah, continue go to, go to acting? IMDb I want to know. And see okay. if he's in continue on. Else. I'll interrupt in a yeah, second. Raise your hand. No. <laughs> well, not, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go. Two of the twelve actors that are in this movie were good. Mm-hmm. So that's not a good ratio in terms of acting. And Morgan was just okay. He was better than I expected for a Hallmark movie. I knew Henry Winkler was again not gonna miss. He don't miss. Like we we know that. I think the good acting overshadowed the bad acting in this movie. <clears throat> Maybe. But more importantly, or like something else I was going to say about Morgan specifically, and Austin agreed with me almost, or she's the one that even pointed it out, honestly. Uh, when they're on the plane and uh, Henry Winkler, Ralph is like, 
like, oh, I wouldn't want to write your resume and stuff like that. He's mm-hmm. like, well, like, why are you like not doing all that crazy stuff anymore? And he's like, well, I turned 30 and stuff. Austin looked oh, at me yeah. and was like, he looks no <laughs> younger than 35. He looks so fucking old. And I was like, Dude, I was like, wait, he's, he's not to, unattractive. He's, he's just to, definitely like, older he's than 30. To be, like, he's supposed age. to just be 30. He's our age. No. no. Okay, we'll see how old he actually was. He definitely was like 40 at the time for sure. Like, yeah, exactly. We were like, he is much closer to 40. But also, like, who's having a crisis at 30? I mean, give it a year. We'll find out. (laughs) Yeah, like, yeah, I got got a little over a year. (laughs) Oh, wait, you're 30. I'm 32. No, wait. Am I 32? How old am I? 31? I'm 31. Sorry. 31. I was going to say, there's no one. Yo, I'm really bad at knowing my age. That's it's fine. Why it's definitely one of my... Uh... What's my What's my age again? Blink exactly. 82. What's exactly. my age again? Yeah. Maybe that song's hey, the reason I can't remember. don't sing too much of it. They'll rip us off the airwaves. No, <laughs> no. Copyright. Don't sing too much of it. Yeah, and watch uh, out with that has updated clip. And I, nah, 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 come nah. for you. No, nah, that's got to be that's gotta be free domain at this point. It definitely is. It's definitely free domain. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's why I was like, we got to do this one. I was trying to sing Root... Run, run, Rudolph. I'm like, no, nope. okay, don't sing that one. Don't sing that one. That's not, that's not free. Copyright. That's copyright. not free use. Don't do that. Okay, this guy is in out. so many more Christmas movies. Um, oh my God. They kept putting him in oh Christmas yeah. movies. He's and in one he keep... in, that just came out called Holiday Road. Oh my uh, God. Alexa, add to my list. <laughs> <laughs> He's in one called Crashing Through the Snow. That's Another one called If I wait, Only he, Had wait, Christmas. Wait, go back to Crashing Through the Snow. Is he a speed racer in that one? <sighs> Please tell me he's some kind of a racer of some sort in that one. He has to be, right? Or has like... Maggie and Sam are crashing Christmas when he proposes that they... Oh, sorry. I was thought he was going to actually propose. When he proposes that they team up against his sister's perfect Christmas, neither is prepared for the blended family's Uh, challenges that lie ahead. It's like a party crasher, not Uh, like a... Oh, party crasher. No physical crashing. Hold on. Go back to that list and can you uh, (laughs) send me the screenshot of that page? And I'm just (laughs) going to... Just going through that. Hey, I'd love to talk about another one of this kid's movies. He's also Jacob in uh, Batwoman. Hmm. The TV show? Yes. On the CW? I don't give two shits. I about don't know. That. You like Batman? <laughs> I do. I don't like Batwoman. That show. I've not. I've heard wow. very mixed Talk reviews. Talk about anti-feminism. No, I like Batwoman, oh, but I don't like off. that show. <laughs> oh, that's, God, a, that's a Jacob X. I don't X off the like sheet. that version of Batwoman. You heard him. I don't like that woman. Is okay, well, what guess he what? Said. I'm the one that edits it, so <laughs> y'all aren't going to be able to like isolate that audio and ruin my <laughs> life. It'll be fine. There's a bigger context. Wow, don't worry if you get big enough, so someone else will do it. Perfect. I'd love some hate. Hey, there's no such thing as bad press, right? Oh my God, hey. young. Hell yeah, bro. At least they're talking about me. Um, so he's in a bunch of shit, right? Yeah. Uh, speaking of this little boy, though, I'm also on IMDb, and his picture, his actor picture, is of him in that movie in the turkey scene. So oh my God, hasn't no way. Changed so that then. is still his biggest film. That is still his biggest film. That was film. probably the highest budget Hallmark Let's film I've seen. Him. Oh my God, And I bet that amazing. that was the highest budget film many of these actors, I not would named like Henry Winkler. I would like to see it. one of them. Oh, I mean, he's been in a couple of other things. I would like to see one of the ones with, have you ever seen How I Met Your Mother? Mm-hmm. Okay, the Victoria, I think. Mm-hmm. Like one of the first girlfriends and stuff. She's in a bunch of Hallmark movies. Oh my gosh! I guess she's in a ton. I think of I them. actually can think of one. That I will I know watch. From. I will watch another one with her in it, whether it's Christmas or not, because I love her. <laughs> okay, this kid is and, I and I think she is a really good actress. This so. kid's in a movie called Super Babies. I would rather <laughs> die. Yeah, I'm, I'm not watching I'd rather, that. I'm I'd not watching wa- that. I'll watch ten minutes of the of him <laughs> looking at the turkey, then watch it, that movie. Yep. He's also in a movie called Trick or Treat, and Ooh. it's a scary movie. And he is Billy. Wait, hold on. Let me. Let me see the. Can I see? Let's just click it. Jacob, of course, knows know. this movie if it's Halloween themed. If it's, if it's the trick or treat, I'm thinking. Oh my god, that is insane. Jake's face is like, oh my god, he's Billy. No, <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> this is such a good him. movie. <laughs> no, y'all have no idea. That is. A- that is a really good movie. That was um, a <laughs> that, year. He was in that movie a year before he was in this. Yeah, I think movie. he plays the 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 little character like the little no the uh yeah the, he would have been like seven this ew gross like i think he's that little thing oh my god that's so fucking wild all right well now i gotta rewatch that movie give me my phone i'm looking up how old morgan really is uh, <laughs> um, we have to look up how old he was in 2008 i'll get i'll do the math i can do okay. 
Um, if they come back and say 32, I'm going <laughs> to feel so sad. Me too. I'm going to be very upset. Um, that's what we have to look forward to. Okay. There were some other things I really wanted to talk about that made me mad about this movie. Okay, I, I wrote down a lot how much I hate The Neighbor, so I'm trying to find... <laughs> the Neighbor, honestly, I, again, the that's acting the point, was though. a terrible You're character. Meant to hate her. Me- yeah, yeah, Meant to Hate Her did great. I know, but like, she, it's just so annoying. It's just so annoying, I don't know. She pisses me off. Um, yeah, it's how convenient that he's a chef and... She can't cook turkeys and stuff. Like, I wrote that down. I was like, yeah. That's a meat like, cute. Okay. Come on. No, no, their meat cute. I actually, okay, perfect. Yeah. Their meat cute is fucking stupid. They go to, they get to the airport, and he recognizes her from the picture that uh, Ralph oh, showed. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then, like, this fucking. And he's like, she's in the bathroom. No, I would even... be like, oh, no. No, not even that. What's even more annoying to me than that is... Okay, like, he was 33. He was 33? He was 33 when that movie came out. Ouch. That fucking... He is 48 years old right now. Uh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah. That movie nah, he out. still looks good. Don't worry. Actually, no, like, as I scroll... Wait. Let me see. Wait. Oh, this no. guy? What happened? Isn't that guy... <laughs> is that the same guy? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm th- I'm thinking of a completely different person who's on like that is not the same. Person. No, that is. It does not look he like looks him. A lot better from with facial hair. is he the Manny? Not the Manny. He's from uh. He's Morgan Derby, dude. Anyway, oh, y'all can't see this. We need to move on. Um, okay, well he looks different without facial hair. Yeah. Um, but I hate um the meat cute. I, I specifically wrote down terrible meat cute because all these movies are obviously all about meat cutes, right? And, it was not, um, yeah, it wasn't ideal, but you know no, what? The was, budget didn't go to that no, part of the ter- movie. No, it's not even that. It was terrible because he goes up and like he recognizes her and the kid. He's like, oh, that's them while Ralph is in the bathroom. And this uh, fucking like luggage cart that is in no way about to hit this kid. Mm hmm. He runs up and is like, oh, let me help save your kid real quick. He's about to get run over. And she's like, oh, my God, my kid almost got run oh, over. Thank, thank you, you, kind, handsome stranger. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I was like, it, it was a fucking mile away. That luggage cart was not going to fucking hit that kid. It was just like such a forced meet cute. Another check against the feminism. Wait, what? Like in this movie, everything is saving this. He just keeps yeah, exactly. wanting to save he this single saved, mom that well, doesn't need saving. Yeah, she does not. Exactly. She doesn't need. Nobody needs saving in that moment. Not the kid, not her, mm-hmm. nothing. That fucking luggage cart was not anywhere near this fucking kid. Exactly. And that was like, so, like, don't get me wrong. Again, I know it's a Hallmark movie, so no matter what, we have to have the actual meet cute of the two people who are going to end up together. But that was not it, dude. Yeah. That yeah. was not it. The fucking 22 Jump Street meat cute is better than that one. When they make fun of meat mm. cutes. It's amazing. You got your Q-tip in my meat. Meat cue. Meat. And they keep saying that over and over again. I don't it's remember, amazing. but I'll take your word for it. It's when... Um, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, sexy boy. What's his name? Channing Tatum. Mm-hmm. Channing Tatum mm-hmm. meets... Uh, Jonah Hill? No, Mm-mm. not Jonah Hill. It's uh, Kurt Russell's son. I can't ever remember. Wyatt Russell the other football player and they meet each other at football practice for the first time. One of them's eating some meat. The other one's using a Q-tip. This Q-tip gets in the meat. Cute. And that's the meat cute. Ha. And stuff. And it's amazing. All Hilarious. right. Okay. So that maybe, <laughs> maybe they missed the mark with that scene, but then their interactions after that are not too bad. Aside from the fact that you're right. All of the interactions are him telling her what she's doing wrong about Christmas. Yeah. And, uh, you know how I feel about Christmas, but there is definitely more than one way to do Christmas. Yeah, True. but she's she's focusing on the wrong things. She doesn't even know that the one thing her kid wants is like the hardest thing to get until the last second. She ends up okay, getting okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on a second. I thought you were going to say the one thing the who? kid really wants is like a dad. But who uh, I wrote that down somewhere. I'll forget, I forget <laughs> the context. Probably but. true. But who doesn't wait to shop until the last minute? No, Of I mean, course you, you don't. Maybe you missed the mark on something that someone really wanted. And she was wasn't sold so out. busy writing fuck it, throwing away business transact transactional business fucking holiday cards from people she doesn't care about. 
and taking the time to send them, maybe she could take the time to fucking look up. It's 2008. They got the internet. Looking up rocket wheel, question mark. Like, whereby? Like, she what could figure she that out. What if she never heard what a rocket wheel was until December no, 15th? She, December 15th? I, I'm just saying. She's got plenty of time to look up her secretary, assistant, whichever it is. It's the only reason she knows how much trouble she That's is in. That's the bit. I'm just saying. You're sold being out is sold out. What? Well, like, that was the whole bit. Like, she, the secretary was like, how can you not know what this is? This is the most popular toy this mm-hmm. season. Like, why are you crazy? No, that What's wasn't wrong? The bit. That was just someone being a bad mother. That's what that was. Not no, but they attention. already called it out nah. in the movie. That doesn't, that doesn't, that's not what makes it a bit. That's not what makes it a bit, man. The, a bit is something that happens in the movie. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but like, so She's does, not wrong. so does bad acting. <laughs> and so does bad, bad acting. writing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying, none of us got bingo for a reason on this one. It's because it might be a bad movie, but is it a classically bad Hallmark movie? No. It okay, doesn't check enough Hallmark of that. All Hallmark movies are bad. I've seen way worse. There's some I couldn't get through. Okay, so I've seen way worse movies, too. I literally, there's a movie, what's it called? One of my favorite stories, Nightfall, as a guy's moth. Remember I tried to make us watch that movie because somebody tried to make a movie in the 80s? No. No, you don't remember because it was. We literally watched ten minutes of it, and I was screaming at the TV because they were already so far off base of how the story should have been. <laughs> it's literally Nightfall by Isaac Asimov is a is like been like time and time again claimed to be the <laughs> claimed to be the like best sci fi story ever written. And I got ten minutes into this eighties movie before I was like. I'm going to break this disc because they're just already so off, mm. far, far off base. So I've seen worse movies, but like the problem with this movie is they had me. I was in. I was like, okay, it's not that bad. And then <laughs> the airport scene, the airport scene at the end <laughs> where she conveniently uh, um, presses the intercom button with her bag mm-hmm. and talks about how much she loves Morgan or she loves this man. And, every, and like everyone's like oh, she, whatever. she didn't say she loves him she says that she, oh. she's she's saying all of the things that are great about him and she happens to be on the PA well then they keep cutting to him and he's like oh <laughs> and he's oh. like is that me that she's talking, she's talking about? about me I definitely recognize that voice but I don't know and then he finally says the name and he's like oh I gotta go and he's then, like a dog he's like Morgan exactly <laughs> that's me it, just just the no one noticed didn't stop her that employee that employee needs to be fired from the airport. Yeah, for putting imme- the mic up there. Immediately notice that that's happening and be like, ma'am, you need to move your bag and then you can yell mm-hmm. at me about something that's not my fault or my problem. Oh, Again, it's so cringy. Yeah, it's but fucking just terrible. Su- suspension of disbelief. No, that I I will forgive a lot of stuff, but like that is just like, there's no way like that that worker at the airport wouldn't be like, move your fucking bag. Mm-hmm. You're talking into mm-hmm. the microphone. Very true. Stop ruining my and everybody else's time. It's fucking Christmas. Yep. Stop. Yep. Like, I think although I would scream at a bit. She was invested because they came the day before and she's like, you mean the guy that you just said you wanted out of your home? No, you well, yeah, she back? was like, yeah, she's now like, you're coming please to help senses. me get this guy out of my house. And she's like, why? She's like, looks over at this hot man. Yeah. It's like, why? And he gives her a little, little, little cheeky smile. Anyway, and she's I'm like, yeah, why? Oh my God. Yeah, this exactly. I mean, yeah. No, exactly. No, like I, I also, uh, well, I knew this was going to happen. I knew you were going to team up against me. I think that Austin has some very valid points. Wrong. <laughs> oh, I also will give you that they totally should have cut all of the airport parts out of this movie. Yeah, there's no need for them yeah. except for the beginning when they meet, when uh, Ralph and him, right. Morgan meet. That's That makes sense. But all the other ones, fucking waste of time. They could yeah. Have, they could have gone, they could have been driving to the airport and then be, and then like cut to Ralph and the kid doing something real quick, cut back to them driving back from the airport and be like, I'm sorry, I forgot my passport. It was in my bag. Yeah, we didn't need could all have been, that. or even like, even if they had to go pub- public transit or whatever, and could have done it at the bus station or at like a cab stand or something. Kind of, it yeah. would have, come on, would have just made more sense. Okay, but like also, I do want to talk about real quick too. They just beat up and assault a local business owner mm-hmm. over the bike when they're too late to get there. No. They, he assaults him with a trash can. <laughs> he does. He does. That is like, and nothing comes of it. 
He just wakes up. Oh, my head. And just forgets. So, like, what? Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that was a pretty that didn't, like, random. They didn't, like, he knows exactly no who did it. Mm-hmm. He knows exactly who He's did it. He's got her phone he number and everything. He has her phone number. He yep. has her inf- card information. Mm-hmm. Very easy for the police in 2008 to find mm-hmm. where she lives and be like, oh, that's that guy that assaulted this local uh, this local business owner with a fucking trash can in an alley. <laughs> Technically, they didn't steal because she had already paid for the bike. So are they, uh, but, is he not pressing charges because he thinks that withholding her property was also a crime? No, because they had, well, I mean, they had, that's the thing. They had a spoken word arrangement. Mm-hmm. I'll buy it but now, pick it up later. Nothing written down. And he, and, she, and she said, and he, he said, we close at noon. If you're not here by noon, yeah. you're not getting it. And then too late. he and trips the alarm to force him to be there. Now, that's Morgan criminal. is a fucking criminal. He is a literal criminal. It's fine. And Ralph, the fucking former cop, loves them. They do play at this least like three up. tricks. They do. Slash lies. They do. But they but they all for a good cause. Like yeah. uh like thwarting the plot of the uh thief that was hanging the Christmas lights again around I, the house. Again, I just love the fact that they're like they go and square up on him and he's like keep an eye on him and he like and Henry Winkler just Bangs the door the against door. him and just beats the shit there out of him. There were a lot of like head wounds in this it, movie dude. that oh, could have been no, actually Henry, Henry Winkler painful. beating the shit out of dudes was mm-hmm. amazing. I mm-hmm. definitely wanted more of that because it was the first one at the beginning with the attempted mugger, then that guy, and then it stopped, which was sad mm-hmm. for me, mm-hmm. I will say. So uh, what did you think about my favorite quote from this movie, which is that the saddest day of the year <laughs> is December 26th. <laughs> See, that's when I that's when I mark down like impassioned speech and stuff. Oh yeah, and then, oh, she, yeah. And then she has the airport one. I was like, oh my god, there's two. It's beautiful. Like, oh my god. I I almost jumped out of the window. <laughs> like you know, I like wanted to escape. I hated that so much. Saddest day of the year is December 26th. This is not what, what Christmas is it about. Is. You're doing Christmas wrong. Wrong. You're doing yeah, Christmas but then, wrong. But then you, but then you also agree with her being like, "Don't tell me how to live my life, bro. You don't know me, you know." Like, yeah, no, I don't think I don't think you should tell her what to do. But I'm glad that she came to the conclusion that Christmas can be so much more. Yeah, it can be, and it should be, and like so, not to be misogynist, but like she did need some advice when it comes to how Christmas should be, like with her family and stuff, you know, because mm-hmm. she was all it was mostly business for her. You know, it was transactional. It was. It you're like, right. You know? And she got brought back to the true meaning right. of Christmas. Yeah, but like... From a criminal. But like the saddest... Yeah, a fucking... A, a fucking mm-hmm. felony assaulter. <laughs> like, like mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. beat him with a deadly weapon. A trash for can. her. For her. Romantic. In, in defense. You never beat oh. anybody with trash cans for me, Jacob. I don't need to. Because I don't mm-hmm. put myself Just in dumbass situations. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to have to edit that out. But <laughs> would you if you had to? I don't like that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all, I'm saying is, all I'm saying is that that did really bother me in terms of like again suspension of disbelief whatever they assaulted a man in public he knows exactly who she is mm-hmm. can find out who he is and she's just like oh that's awesome and it's like and like that was part of it too it's like you're not freaking out about this like she's been freaking about out about Every other thing that this guy has done. But she's like, oh, that is so sick, bro. No, because it was for her son. Yeah, mm. but like, why didn't, again, she All right. should have We're remembered. Gonna, it's g- it's going to have to be suspension of disbelief and move I on. Because I don't think Plus, there's like, another it's not answer the point. to that it's part. A, like, you know, saying, you like, to, you are not wrong. <laughs> this, movie, this movie is set in the real world, so they have to follow the rules okay. of the okay. real world. And they do not. No, it's a whole bar. Christmas movie. It doesn't have to follow yeah, real no world. Yeah, no one expects it much of it. flexibly <laughs> follows real world right. rules. Whatever. For romantic purposes. I will also say I did not like the, um, there's some pretty hard TV transitions mm. in this movie. There's two really hard fade to black, like, oh, this was obviously made for TV. Like, oh, like a commercial and stuff. moment. Like, we're like, we're cut. It's like, okay, here comes the commercial mm. break. Like, that's always very, like, distracting for me when I'm watching a movie. Obviously mm. it specifically says it was a made for TV movie. So I mm. could get it, but like there's no need for it. You can, you can edit around that. It, and it must be, be tough to have that ruin every made for TV movie you watch. It doesn't ruin it, but it affects it. If the rest of the movie is good, I can move past it, but I couldn't with this one. Mm. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Let's see. Do I have anything else Maybe to say? Maybe because shit you about were looking for places to criticize this absolute masterpiece of Christmas film. Doubt. Just saying. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> I did love this at the very end. So when Dick, um, when he's he uh he fucks up, right? Like he get he's like, oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're like present for you, bud. The gift card is in there, and he's got the. Thank the you note. stolen thank you note from Hod fucking, Morgan. He's a fucking child, mm -hmm, as she calls mm -hmm. him, which I agree. It's a mm -hmm. very childish thing. Like, you're good, bro. It's fine. Yeah. She said yes when you bombarded her with Actually, a proposal. Actually, she never said yes. Yeah, well, she, just never, she just like oh, left and called it. She, she let him put it on her, it. but she never said yes. Yeah, but it's also fair. I think that in the moment she was probably so surprised. She was just speaking as someone who was so surprised in the moment that I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like yeah, like, you know, you're, 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 you don't think that you need to say yes. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. But my point is they fight about it and she's like, oh, yeah, like, get out. And then... uh what is what does she say? Like, don't forget this yeah. with the ring. Wait, and stuff, yeah, yeah, and then hands dick. it back. Yeah. Also, did you see how fucking huge it was? Geez, that's the first thing. Like, as, as, yeah, as, yeah. as soon as he opened it up, I said, "God damn, look at the size of that rock! <laughs> Holy shit!" But yeah, he's a jeweler, so like, it makes sense he'd have a, you know, he'd have uh, a huge. That was um, what uh, Julia said at another Christmas movie with a diamond ring mm -hmm. in it earlier. She was like, "Oh damn, look at that Neil Ra Neil Lane ring! Oh, no. <laughs> those things are just like bling in oh, those yeah. Hallmark movies. They're oh, always yeah, huge. They're, they go off on them, dude." Oh. I can't even imagine what other movies, what they look like. Um, but I just love, uh, she, like, they kick out, they get, he leaves, him and his parents leave, and uh, Ralph goes and comforts Jen on the stairs, and she says, some, like, something like, I can't believe I broke up with Richard for a guy who's not even here anymore. And I, and I just wrote down, I sure as fuck can. It was obvious from the beginning of this fucking movie that that's exactly what was going to happen. Like, yeah, exactly. It was like, but know. also it was obvious that Richard sucked. I so know. It was just she like, would have yeah, come to that she needed conclusion. just she just needed a reason. Yeah, she yeah. needed something to be exactly. like. Yeah. We needed a we needed a way to wrap this movie up real right. quick. Because five minutes later, right. they're kissing after yeah. they, she saves him from the airport in that horrible intercom situation, mm -hmm. and they close the door, and the wreath falls off one more time, <laughs> and then fade to black. And a beautiful ending Ugh. to a beautiful movie. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> mid as fuck I'll give it mid as fuck <laughs> I watch this movie every year I what? love it I love it I love it I love you, it I love you it. actually watch this I movie actually, every year so, so Nick knows oh, that I thought line. this was like a I no, thought no, this no, was no. like a first time for no, you and you're like let's watch a, this I, one I know this movie from start to finish you, I've been wow. watching this since college oh damn okay I thought this was like a you were like yeah this one like I know this one mm -mm. like let's watch <laughs> this one holy shit mm -mm. we've watched this every year and wow. that's why now Nick knows that the saddest day of the year is <laughs> December 26th. Okay, now that you say that, I've heard you say that to yeah. him like, before, and I was like, the fuck is she talking about? But he now, says it to me too now, because he now knows. I, know, I, I literally heard him say it on Monday when we were at Rock City. I uh -huh. think he said it to you, and, uh -huh. I was like, and I was like, what the fuck is he talking yep. about? And now you're going to remember it too. God, I wish Nick was here to be on my side. God, I wish he was here to be on my side. But would he be on my side? Probably not. Probably not. He likes Probably this not. one. It's a good one. Ugh. Thank you, Nick. Love you. Fuck you, Nick. Awesome. What? Hi, Nick. Okay. <laughs> oh. Acceptable. Yeah, like good, it's supposed good, to good be. Job. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just honestly, at the end of the day, the thing I'm most upset about is I didn't fill out my bad movie Christmas bingo because it wasn't bad enough of a movie. I rest my case. Okay. It really what? isn't. Like we watched one oh. and a half movies after I that one. I do want to see the Christmas uh -huh. in Scotland. Frankly, I would happily watch <laughs> Christmas in Scotland again. Austin and I can agree that while it was a terrible movie that we bingoed on a lot, all of us, uh, it was super entertaining. Yeah, that's what I was going to say is that <laughs> um, we filled out, like we all bingoed at least once for that second movie. And none of us bingoed. Yeah. None of us. I do want to watch they're that. Bad as, bad as well, uh, maybe I just need to watch more. Of I actually these, think like, I like Hallmark. the Scotland, Scotland one better. You like that one more than this know, one? I just liked the guy. Oh, he was he was adorable. He was just real cute. was he super Scottish? Yeah. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> I really want to watch that one too because I think I need to. I think maybe I just need to see more. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, please. Maybe I need to see more <laughs> of this like genre of Christmas movie. Um, like can this, I? Christmas rom You heard it here, folks. Drama. Yep. Don't yep. let him go back then on it Then he wants to dip his toes no, in. No, so I'll dip my toe in more because this is the only Christmas episode I'm going to have time to do this year. So I have 
I'll we'll worry about it next year. Can I come uh, back and do more? Can I interest you in the subgenre of the uh, Christmas royal romances, oh like my um, God. like the Princess Switch or the Christmas Prince one uh, through three? <laughs> Both of them one through three. <laughs> I was going to say, isn't the Princess Switch one through three? Princess like, Switch three is, is one of the funniest movies said, I've you, ever seen. You said that was the Jump the Shark one. <laughs> that right? was exactly. Yeah. That was another contender for. There's three right. Vanessa debate. Hudgens in that movie. Yes, and <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, that's the, I feel like there's three, three main that's characters the jumping and all of the, three her. Yep. That's the jumping of the shark. Is that there's three of them now? Yes. In the yes. first there's one, three. there's only two. Right? Yeah. And then in the second one, they add a third. But then in the third one, I think not only do they add a fourth, but they also add. A jewel robbery. Mm. It is hysterical. <laughs> it is genuinely one of the okay. funniest movies I've ever seen. Okay, so I want. I think we should definitely watch all three of those at some point. I want to see that yeah. whole thing. Austin loves Vanessa Hudgens, so she'll watch it uh-huh. for sure. Have you not? Have you seen those already? Mm-hmm. All three of them? Mm-hmm. Wow. Because they're good. Yeah. You, they're... Didn't, you didn't tell me that they were that hilarious. I mean, I didn't absurd. think they were that hilarious. Oh, Austin, really? Wait, did I you mean, actually last... like them? What? Do you like them? Do you actually like them? Say right now. Yes or no? Not, not, eh, maybe a little bit. No. Yes or no? Do you like them? There, I've never watched them again. Yes or no? Do you like them? Yeah. It was fine. Oh my God. They're not, it's not a movie that I've ever gone back and watched. I watched them years ago when they first came out Mm -hmm. and I haven't gone back and watched it since. Like there are some Christmas movies I'm like, we're watching this every year. We're literally about to watch the holiday. Uh, duh. Oh yeah. As soon as we're done recording this, we're turning on the holiday. Every year, Christmas Eve for me is the holiday. Yeah. See, but that's the thing. It's like everyone else goes to church and i watch the holiday mm-hmm. yeah fuck that no um but that's the thing but it goes to but that movie goes to new year's so you don't have to watch it before christmas sure i mean yeah it's a, a holiday classic. movie doesn't matter i'm not gonna budge on this movie i'm just gonna say this is a bad movie maybe next year i'll change my opinion um, so uh, what I'm hearing is you considering watching it again next year. Thank you. I will watch it again next year if I can watch some of this Christmas in Scotland, Princess Switch. We can lower and, your standards. Yeah, if, I, if my standard, if I can like see how, I don't think I've hit the floor yet. Oh, you, know? you have not. So if I could see the floor, maybe I'll change my mind. But like, this is the first like subgenre of a subgenre I've ever watched of this kind of movie so this is a high budget one of these which is wild because so, it just there's just mm, it's definitely classic mm. Hallmark shot in two weeks you get two takes that's oh, yeah. it like kind of a thing yeah. they paid up for the Henry Winkler oh yeah oh god yeah. They, yeah it's shocking that he was in this movie again never misses man well I will stand my ground until Christmas time next year when I hope you'll watch it with me again alright well Swing vote. Swing vote. Okay. We already know. What? I already know what you're going to say. Actually. Oh, no. Austin, no. Oh, my God. Is it happening? I enjoyed the movie. Uh But there are many other Christmas movies that are much better. Uh I think that this could be considered a bad movie, but it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy watching it. Okay. I I can deal with that. So, good or bad? So it is a bad movie I'm happy. that I. <laughs> it's a bad movie that I enjoyed watching. It's the best Christmas present Cause... I could ever ask for, Austin. <laughs> you you agreeing with me on a very public forum, <laughs> like a very public. You way. heard him. No more Christmas it. presents necessary. I already, I already got him. his. Right. I already gave him to, him to her last night. But no, that doesn't mean, <laughs> Antine, that I didn't enjoy it. But I like. No, I don't mm-hmm. like Hallmark movies. I like some. Mm-hmm. Some I can't get through. There's been like three over like all of my years, That's I guess, fair. of watching things that I literally had to turn off. This one, I was like, no, nah, I got to see it through. Yeah. And it's, it's like, it's entertaining, you know? Compared to it was some enjoyable. Of them, it's like, it is good when you compare it to the pool of other options. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. That's fair. But also when you compare it to like other Christmas movies, it's, it's bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, yes. Yeah, it's, it's depends not Christmas. which ones. Uh, Christmas Vacation. I mean, that is literally uh, the best Christmas movie. So, I know. Yes. Exactly. So, so like, when you compare it to that Austin, I, I don't opinion, I, do, I hate nope, him. Nope, Die Hard. Nope. Oh, great Christmas movie. She hates Chevy Chase, so she doesn't Chevy care Chase. about. Except I don't, for, except I don't for like in, Family Vacation. But in Community, you like. Yeah. Yeah. You like him in that. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Plus, oh, kind I've of heard Austin. That. That's my favorite Christmas I movie. Mean, it's one of my all-time favorite movies. I did watch it it's twice this year, once with each of you. So. Yeah, watch oh, yeah. it. It just means I love you guys. Watch it with me on VHS, bro. Mm. You're, so you're so good. sick of it now. <laughs> oh, she'll never watch it again. But so, you love... Uh, um, the, my favorite character. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the aunt. Oh, my God. The aunt. old aunt, lady. Uh, aunt Bethany. Aunt Bethany. I pledge allegiance. Is your house on fire clock? Oh my God. So my family watches Christmas Vacation every year on both Thanksgiving and on Christmas Day. Oh <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that includes when we were in Hawaii for Thanksgiving one year and my cousin and I watched it in our hotel room in Hawaii in the Melika- yeah. Melikaliki Mako scene. It was like <laughs> oh, super fun. It was super intense. <laughs> Out on like, like a laptop whoa. somewhere. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Um, all right. Well, so I guess I win. Because Austin swung boat, but Austin's opinion also doesn't matter. True. We established that at the beginning, so yep. I can't claim that. And I guess none of the opinions really matter because I'm going to keep watching this movie every year. <laughs> and that's fine. And you're, allowed, <laughs> and you're allowed to do that. It's a free country. Um, so I guess, you know, just, you know, I'll, I'll do the, the poll and ask the people. I hope you on Christmas because I do them on Mondays. So Yay. on Christmas, look out on Insta. We'll do a poll and y'all let us know. I know how Antine's going to vote. I, I want to know how Nick's going to vote. Gonna vote. I'm curious. That's what I'm curious about because I can see who votes and what they say. Mm. So <laughs> we'll see what Nick says. So Nick, don't listen to this episode. Everybody's going to get called out. I want to know. Yeah, I'll call everybody out. I'll let everybody know. I'll just do a run through. Like, <laughs> who did what? Um, Please do. Yeah. Actually, you should just screenshot and then post. <laughs> <Just screenshot. laughs> why not? It's not like it's yeah. enough. Wait, can, you me, yeah, can you give me more detail about why you didn't like this movie? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, just <laughs> that'd be amazing. Um, Maybe someday I'll do that for a movie. Maybe not this one. Maybe a more Ouch. important movie. Ouch. Like National Treasure 2 when I do that oh with Amelia. Oh my god, <laughs> National Treasure 2 is such a good movie. I know, I love it so much, but like it's so bad at the same time. But it's time. so good. It's so it was bad. very easy for me to find shit to talk about National Treasure, but I also love it. And Amelia won that one, so. Excellent choice, Amelia. We had a great conversation, though. Go listen to it. And... Follow on Instagram and all that stuff. Uh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Buy liquid IV. That'd be cool. Um, yeah. I got that uh, sugar-free peach flavored. Oh, did you delicious. buy some the other day? Mm-hmm. Oh hell yeah! Mm-hmm. Somebody bought some the other day, and I was like, oh Thanks shit! Thanks for the discount. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, fucking do that shit. Buy it. It but comes so fast. It does be hype. Um, I guess that's it. Bye. Melakaliki Maka. <laughs> It is, is it the is, thing is, to is do. It, is what? Ugh. How does is it go? Is the thing to say. Damn is the it. thing to say. On a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. day. Oh, no, we're going to get sued oh, on this one. Oh, no. Shut it down. Do, 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 do,